hey, have you ever seen some of these really cool Google logos here? They can play games and sometimes tell you information. Have you ever wanted to try your own? Well, you're in luck because I'm going to show you how. To do so, search up Google logo scratch. Then you'll click on this top link called create your own Google logo dash scratch studio. When you go in, you can see all these different kind of ideas of when people have created their own Google logos using this platform. There's so many really neat ones, but we're going to create our own. So you'll go over here and click this link. Here, it will take you to this page. First, you will code each letter. Your code will go in here, and you'll put in these little puzzle pieces to make it do things. And you can code every single letter. However, I don't really like this G, so I'm going to create my own. I'm going to go to costumes right here. And over here on the side, I can see the different ones that I want to use. So I'm going to choose this one. To do so, I'm going to code it to controls or when clicked. So if I want my thing to play when I press this, I'm going to put this. Always start any of your codings usually with this. Then I have to set my costume just to make sure that it won't change later on. So I'm going to go to switch costume and this one is sports then i'm going to get mine to say hello motion turn 15 degrees and then turn another 15 degrees let's see how this looks let's change this to 30 degrees instead See, now my G is now going the other way. And I can add so many other things to it, like another costume change. So, switch costume to fruit. Each time I press it, it turns 15 degrees. But, I want it to turn 15 degrees, then turn 30 degrees the other way. So I'm going to create a pause. So in between these, think, hmm. Each time I click it, it keeps going on. So now I'm going to code the O, then the next O then the G, then the L, then the E. And you can do the same. It's super easy. And I bet yours can come out so cool. I can't wait to see what they become. I'll put the link in for creating your own Google Scratch. Thank you for watching.